you've just received an email or a text from me that says, hey, there's a new order. So let's check Dropbox. So you can see in your Dropbox folder, I've placed two example orders. Let's look at the first one. So you'll see three things. The TIFF file itself that you'll print out on the Canon. You'll see a text file with the information for the print and the customer. And you'll see a, a, either a PDF or a PNG, depending on if it's a limited edition or uh, an open edition. Because this is an open edition, we have the art print adhesive PDF file. So let's download that. Here it is. Um, all I need to do now is print this on the HP 8600. The adhesive labels are down there in, in this uh, little package. So you just pull one out and uh, we're only going to use one of these at a time. Uh, so it doesn't matter which way it's oriented, just that it's flipped upside down. have a switch the order that you prefer to do things um, so you may have the Canon plugged in so unplug that and plug in the USB cable for the HP for the HP okay uh, nothing really needs to be changed here in settings just make sure it's black and white um, paper size letter default scale everything's should be set to go and then hit print if we triple check okay And here is our nice art print adhesive label. Um, we did it. So the next step is to take this to the blue paper cutter uh, and cut this in half and then include this paper with uh, the print order. Let's say I've given you the task of printing Wawa Loli at 20.00 inches by 14.49 inches. General settings, let's start at the top. Media type, photo paper, and Canon Photo Paper Pro Platinum. Keep in mind, if we were working with uh, metallic silver instead of metallic pearl, which may happen someday, we want to use Canon Premium Semi Glossy Paper 2. That is what you would pick, and that is what you would pick on the printer as well when you load that into the printer. But for now, let's do Pro Platinum. Paper size, we need to make the paper size. We also need to make the slot size. So let's do that now. Scroll all the way to the top and let's specify a custom size. We're gonna add two new sizes. First one we're gonna name 
Wawa Lowly, name of the print, paper size. This is going to be about 0.5 inches bigger than the actual print, so 20.5 inches by 15 inches. Now let's add the slot size, which is going to be the same as the print size. Walla Loli, uh, slot size. And the actual size is 20.00 by 14.49. Now they're located in paper size. Let's check paper size. Paper source. This is important. We're using a roll. And we're not using the 44 inch roll. What I last loaded in is the 24 inch roll. So, um, if, you, if you're not sure about what size roll you have, go to the printer, click the on button, and click on the roll, and it'll, it'll, it will tell you. Okay, um, this is not correct uh, preview, so let's switch the preview to a roll paper preview. Alright, um, alignment, no, 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 okay, that's all good. It doesn't really matter in this case. Um, printer profile. Let's uh, click the correct one. Photo paper pro platinum. If it was metallic silver instead of metallic pearl, you would click premium glossy or er, premium semi glossy paper two. All right. Let's add our file. Hit the plus sign. And there it is, ready to go. Let's double check Pro Platinum paper size. Uh, let's uh, make sure the size of our slot is actually the slot size. Ah, there we go. And just fit it so that um, there's room on all sides, some white space on all sides. Um, so you have this is so that you have room to touch the corners without actually touching the print while you're handling it to cut off all this excess and you know putting it into the chip putting putting a yeah you know what I mean. Okay, that's all good. Pro Platinum. Okay, uh, let's hover over it just to make sure. Resolution 240 DPI. That's a that should that should be the standard. Image size. Uh, okay, let me explain this. File name. We know what a file name is. The image size is actually like the biggest it can print at according to um, the, the size of the file. Um, color space, not really important. Output image size, that is important. It should be 14.49 times 22, I mean a 20.00, and that's basically what it is, that's good. The customer ordered 20 by 14.49, so we need to make sure we give them 20 by 14.49. Position, um, not really relevant. Size, that's what you input as the slot size. That's that's perfectly fine. Uh, everything else not important. And we are working with a 24 inch roll. Everything looks good. We are ready to print. Here's a scenario. We go to hit print, and this pops up. 
some portions may not be printed. That means um, something is overlapping and it's going to be cut off. So I really, uh, here, let's right click, and, or uh, just click and uh, left click and cancel that. Cancel that. It's not going to print anyway because it's not hooked in. Okay, so I've really uh, exaggerated this so you can see, oh, it's overlapping. Um, but really, you may like, you may position it like this, hit print, and it still says it. Um, that's why I've, I've emphasized that the paper size should be um, 0.5 inches bigger. So that way you can visually see, okay, nothing's going to get cut off on either side. Everything is within the boundary, so now we hit print, and the warning is gone. <laughs>